Stuttgart against Gremio. I'm John Champion and providing analysis alongside me is our expert Jim Beglin. Well, I think we're very fortunate to be sitting here watching this one, John. I'm really looking forward to what should be a really exciting match. Closer. Looking to cut inside. Launches a low cross. Chelstrom. And he'll shoot here. He's delivered all right. Well, if that was their intention pre-match, let me tell you, it's worked out very nicely. I think for the skipper to chip in with a goal too is a bonus, but this game has already taken on a real attacking edge and, and long may that continue. What are your thoughts on the goal, Jim Beglin? Yeah, I've got great admiration for the finish, but I've even more admiration for the pass that set it up. It was delicious. They've got off to a very good start. Surges forward. Contento. Onside. That's clever from him. Well, for me, he had a very decent crack at it, but it has to be said that the odds on those from distance were never really that good, and you'd always favour the keeper in that instance. Kina. He makes his way towards the penalty area, drives it in. What a reprieve that was. He's over the ball, his teammates waiting. Now it's a goal kick. Tento. Now Neustadter. Lars Bender, who a few moments ago made his mark on this game. He's gone for elevation. He shoots again. Puts it away. It's a two-goal lead now. He was never going to decline an invitation like that. Marco Marin has been menacing, and when you get a defence that's beginning to look a little bit disjointed, then he's exactly the type of character that's going to punish you, and he did exactly that. So, it's now two without reply. Yeah, we've seen it before that 1-0 can be a fragile scoreline, but now that they have that extra cushion, two should be enough. Within range, it's in. That is simply unsavable. They kick off only one ahead now. Listen, goals change games, and that has changed the whole complexion of this one. They have the momentum there. Eh? Well, base, Wilkshire, Real Sociedad on the ball, but not being very threatening with it. Pasquale, Chelstrom, Gremio have possession again. What can Real Sociedad do here? Well, to call that wayward would be being kind. Well, that's understandable because they haven't found it easy against this defence. And shooting from that sort of range, it's not the answer. Running through the middle, but without support. 
Martino. Wilkshire. Now Neustadter. He's onside here. He's bursting forward. They've done it. A resounding drive. I can't imagine he's hit many better than that. Is it just me or did he make that look very, very easy? That was terrific skill and composure from him. He finished with such a plump. So we resume and the gap is now two. Well, I think that two-goal cushion they've just manufactured is a fair reflection of what we've seen up to now. It also adds to the, the psychological divide between the two teams. It could make a big difference. Tina. Borakio Mas. Oh, that's delightful. Oh, so close. Well, we'll drive this corner in. Well, Sociedad with a big chance and a big miss. Now Neustadter. Gargano! The ball's with closer. chance to get a cross in and a strike from distance Chelston knocks it forward Contento Marco Marin Lars Bender Well, Sociedad have got possession back. Ignashevic. Base. Pasquale. Now Neustadter. Contento. Chelstrom. It's Matias Suarez. Now Neustadter. What can Gremio do here? Oh, he's lost it. Marco Marin. Lars Bender. Now Neustadter. Boraki Mas. Contento. Closer. No luck there. I think when you're in front of goal like that, you really should do better. That's a poor finish in the end. Base. Chelstrom. And the defence gets it away. Pasquale. Moving forwards. The break is on. It's the ball. Chelston, Wiltshire, Tina, Boracchio Mas, a stern challenge coming in, going forward, where's the defence? Whistle goes to signal the midway point of this game. 